Alright, we gotta do this. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I just wanted to make sure you all knew that the Fab 28 was still performing at the highest of qualities. Alright, so in this video, we are going to celebrate four years on YouTube, as well as talk about the new chapter of FX DLS Brooklyn. Let's check it out. What is going on YouTube? FX DLS Brooklyn is back in the building. And we are out here with my numero uno, one of my favorite people to ride with, none other than Jenny, rocking her new showy RF 1400, crushing it with that new helmet. You know, it was just time to uh, upgrade her helmet. She'd been rocking the uh, Biltwell Lane Splitter for quite a long time. And Shoei had just put out that RF 1400. And she had always expressed how much she liked my Shoei RF 1200. So, for her birthday, we really uh, went all out this year and got her a premium helmet. But, yeah, so... It's been actually a while since I've shot a new video like I'm doing right now. You know, I've definitely been getting out there this winter. If you follow my Instagram, you know we've been getting out there in plenty of snow and salt, doing what we need to do, still getting those miles in. But I never really recorded on those days, you know? Those days when I was able to get out there in the winter, I really just wanted to go out and enjoy the ride, rather than record for those days, so... Not, not really any footage from those days. But, I did a lot of reflecting this winter, and like I said in the intro, it has been four years at this point that we've been running this channel. And through reflections and meditations, we've decided that we want to start taking this channel into a new direction. So there's going to be some changes coming our way. And for you all who routinely watch this stuff, I figure it would make sense to let you all know what we got going on here and what we can expect going forward. Why don't we start off with update number one. And for update number one, there's going to be an update on the frequency of video drops on this channel. So video frequency is going to change fairly soon. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's rewind back a year ago as here in New York City, the pandemic began to take its grips. I was actually a year to the day before things really got crazy with the pandemic, I actually did a ride with the BX Polymath, my good buddy. Definitely go check out his channel. But we did a ride together the day before everything kind of shut down and locked down in New York City. And here we are, him and I, just enjoying a nice 50 degree day in March, very similar to this one. Him and I having no idea what hell was about to unfold in our city in the next coming weeks. But that's that's neither here or there. So when the pandemic did hit, you know, I knew that a lot of us were gonna be spending a lot of time indoors at home. So me knowing that, especially with the height of the riding season coming, I pledged to the community that I would up my frequency to dropping three videos a week, just so people who were experiencing lockdowns and shutdowns and couldn't enjoy the beginning of the riding season could have something to do and look forward to while they spent a lot of time at home. So now we're a year past that time. You know, we open the news and it seems like we're starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, we're starting to see more and more good news rather than 
typical upsetting news. So why am I talking about all this? Well, we're gonna go back to a normal frequency of video drops. And the plan is to start dropping videos on Fridays only. And you might be wondering, okay, why am I going from three to one video? Are you burnt out, FXDLS Brooklyn? Is something going on? Well, it's not like I'm taking a break from YouTube. It's not like I'm stopping things. I'm doing it for a really, really good reason. And I'm doing it for a purpose. Again, if you follow a lot of YouTube channels that have been in the game for four plus years, like myself, a lot of them hit this point where they say, I'm burnt out, I need a break or I'm burnt out and I'm done, and then they close up shop. I am not burnt out. I still love this channel. I still love what we do on this channel. So you might hear that and you might be like, oh, that's bad news. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna get my Monday drops. I'm not gonna get my Wednesday drops. But when you hear for the reason, when you hear the reason why I'm doing it and going this new route, then I think you might understand what we're doing here. But now let's talk about why. What's the purpose behind making this decision? And that brings us on to thing number two. My plan going forward, like I said, is to start straying away from this normal format that I've been doing of just shooting videos and talking about it over my rides and to start embracing new and more challenging formats of video production. So what that means, oh look at that, that is beautiful, that's what I'm talking about. That is New York right there. The subway coming up. But yeah, we want to explore some different formats of shooting and editing that at the end of the day is going to bring you a higher quality of video and hopefully bring you some more interesting content. So not only do I want to work on just getting better shots, thinking about lighting, thinking about angles, really getting to a point where we're more thoughtful about what we're shooting, but I also want to explore new topics. And in that regard, I want to start taking the focus of my videos off of me, you know, and start telling the stories of other riders in New York City, sharing their bikes, sharing their experiences and their rides. And that's what I think is going to be a little bit more interesting going forward here on this channel. So that's one reason why. Now, I'm not going to abandon this format completely. Like if you like going on these rides with me here in New York City, Here's the beautiful LaGuardia Airport out in Queens. I'm still gonna do these videos for sure, but I'm just gonna do them on Friday. So when I shoot a higher quality video, I probably will drop it on Monday or Wednesday and then you'll still get the typical Friday drop that's gonna be of this format. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on in terms of content creation and what's going on on the channel. And I'm really excited for it. I know a lot of you have complimented my discipline and my ability to crank out three videos a week consistently for a year. And look at that beautiful skyline. Oh man. We love New York. Come visit. But yeah, I know a lot of you do like this channel for the frequency. So I hope it's uh, not too upsetting for most folks and I hope most folks understand why we're making this decision that we're making and I hope you could support it and I'm sure when we get that first dropout of a video that's that takes a lot more effort and is a lot more challenging and tells more of an interesting story I hope once we get that going then you'll understand why we're making the decisions that we're making because the channels that I respect the most are the channels that mix things up and don't just follow the same format all the time. Channels like The Illustrator here out of New York City, one of the East Coast's biggest and most successful moto vloggers and has been a pretty big influence on me since I started, as well as Connor FXDB, Connor Rodriguez out of 
Texas, who has also been motovlogging for a similar amount of time as me, and his channel and his riding style has just gone through so many different evolutions. And he's a channel that I am quite frankly gonna say, he does not get the views that he deserves. All right, we gotta do this. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I just wanted to make sure you all knew that the Fab 28 was still performing at the highest of qualities. So yeah, of course, subscribe to the Illustrator, subscribe to Connor FXDB, watch those guys' videos, give them that thumbs up, because they are making some amazing and very interesting content that continues to evolve and continues to stay interesting. So check them out. Okay, so update number three. A lot of you are asking me, hey, what's going on with that FXR that you uh, picked up and did a couple videos on and then it just kind of disappeared? <laughs> well, <laughs> as you knew, it had a bunch of leaks, right? Three main leaks to be exact. So a family friend of ours has been working on it over the winter and we were also changing up a couple cosmetic things on that bike i'll leave you guessing as to what that is but basically it's been in the quote unquote shop all winter getting some work done from a family friend so that by you know this new riding season it'll be ready to come out most properly so don't worry, we still have the FXR. The FXR is okay. Yes, it's stuck in the A's. But yeah, that's it. You know, we're just fixing the leaks. We still have it. And yeah, man. Which brings us on to update number four, which is what's going on with the Beast 116 Dyna. Now, I'm kind of just tossing this idea around. We're not sure what's going to happen, so don't get too excited, but word on the street is the 116 Beast Dyna might be going up for sale this riding season. So if you have watched videos and you've enjoyed that bike and how insane it sounds and how fast that thing rides, or you know someone who's looking to get into the highest performance level Dyna, then shoot me an email at fxvlsbrooklyn at gmail.com or drop a comment because we're playing around with the idea of potentially selling that bike and I'll do a separate video for that if we do go that route. But honestly, with that bike, it's just not getting ridden the way it should be getting ridden. reason for that was the adoption of the FXR. So I'm putting all my miles on my FXR or my lowrider. So the 06 is just collecting dust in the garage. And that bike has way too much money and work into it to just be sitting in a garage. So at the end of the day, I would be happier knowing that that bike was going to someone who was going to really get the most out of it. Because right now, you know, it's just not getting ridden as much as it should. So, we're tossing the idea around. You all let me know what you think about that. If you're interested or you know someone that's interested, let us know. Okay, and update number five, our final update of what's going on here at the channel. So, you all know my Patreon, a portion of those funds goes to charity. So we are using a portion of those funds as well as money out of my own pocket to do a upcoming giveaway to kick off the riding season. The way that giveaway would work is you would opt in by pledging a very small to whatever amount donation 
to an organization out here in New York City that supports youth homelessness. So it would be money that would be going directly to homeless shelters to help provide our youth here in New York City with the things that they need as we ride out this pandemic. So what does that mean? That means maybe some of that money is going towards making sure that our youth has better internet capabilities so those that are learning remotely can still continue learning. It means a lot of different things, but in terms of the PMA that we run on this channel and the idea of Stay Low, coming up soon with a giveaway where you will have the opportunity to support those in need out here in New York City. Um, if you're wondering what's going to be given away, well, we're not giving away the Casiasco Bridge, I'll tell you that much, but what we'll be giving away is definitely something from the good folks over at Lexan. What I can promise you right now is at least a Lexan FT4, which is actually the comm unit that I typically run. I'm running their newer one right now, the G16 or the G something. <laughs> Mark is going to kill me for uh, not having that drilled into my dialogue. <laughs> I love this bridge, man. We love Brooklyn. We love Queens. We love New York City. Please come and visit us. A lot of good people out here. A lot of good places out here. And there's just no place like home. But yeah, that's kind of the updates of what's going on with the channel. Um, I'm excited giving you all those updates. I'm excited even talking about this. So I hope you all will join us for, you know, a new chapter in this crazy journey on two wheels. Ah, beautiful day, man. 50 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful. Feels even better when you paid the iron price and you put in your freezing cold miles in the winter. My dad gave me that good old lecture today. You know, me and Jenny are actually coming back from visiting my family. You know, we're seeing my niece. She actually took her first sit on a motorcycle today. It was a very exciting moment be looking forward to showing her that picture 20 years from now but yeah I rolled up and my dad immediately very disappointed gave me the lecture about taking care of my bike a lecture I've been getting <laughs> many times listen man it's, it's hard to put in the real miles it's hard to put in the real miles and keep a clean bike especially in the winter those of you who know know that's all I'm gonna say all right, buddy, we are back in Brooklyn. Love you, Brooklyn. We are going to close this one out here. Ooh, gas light's on. Gas light is on. We're going to have to get some gas, my people. We're going to have to get some gas. What? We're going to have to get some gas. FX ELS Brooklyn Guide to Getting Gas. Oh, got to love Jenny, man. The ride's good, but the company is better. Alright, but we're gonna hit a gas station up here, fill this tank up, and then I think we're gonna head on home and enjoy the rest of our Sunday. It's been a great Sunday out here. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there and stay low. Embrace a positive mental attitude. Listen to the bad brains. And on that, FX DLS Brooklyn is out.